Hello and welcome to this Crazy Talk Animator 2 video tutorial where I'm going to show you how to create some awesome custom animated bullet points for use in PowerPoint in just under three minutes. Okay, so this is what we're typically uh, used to. Okay, this is the type of, uh, of presentations that people have where they have a blank uh, background, very stale looking presentation, and they have the bullet points where they can just call and command. Now, what I wish to show you is, what if you can lighten up your presentations? What if you can create an animated avatar and you can customize that animation to, to, to introduce those bullet points that you're bringing in? So this is the magic with Crazy Talk Animator. You can turn a presentation like this one into something like this with an animated host that points at your own bullet points. Now you might think, well, this looks great, but you know, it looks pretty complicated. I'm not an artist. How can I do this? Well, it's extremely simple and I'm going to show you. With Crazy Talk Animator, basically you can have a character like this one. And you simply need to drag and drop an animation to your character. So I can drag this walk happy animation and I can keep on dragging it just to extend the motion that I have with him, right? And I can customize this character if I need to. I can select my character here, and then I can bring, them, bring him into the character composer system, which is basically like the backstage. And then inside, watch this, inside, I can instantly start changing the appearance of my character. I can change his hairstyle here to one of a, a Beatles hairstyle. Then I can quickly change his upper body, his clothing, and I can do this for more facial features and everything else. Or I can simply just update. And you'll see that we have our new character with the same animation that we had before. Now, besides being able to create a character like this, you can also acquire characters from outside. Now, there's a character that I really like, and I like to introduce him to you. And it's called Dan. This character is very special. His name is Dan, the Everyday Man. It's very special because I got it, um, I, I, I borrowed this character from one of our featured developers. This guy is Gary Pye, my man Gary Pye. And he's got an awesome store in the marketplace where you can find tons of incredibly drawn, um, illustrative uh, props, characters. Well, he's got one character right now that's coming out, but he's got props, he's got scenes. And I mean, Gary's got it all in his store. So I just found out that he had this character, Dan the Everyday Man, and I just had to use him in my tutorial. So I asked Gary if I could borrow him, and I'm going to be using Dan today. If you're looking for someone to work with in your next tutorial, animation, or video, then look no further. Look no further. Okay, great. So let's use Dan here. So let me show you how in under three minutes I can customize an animation with Dan. So what I'm going to do here is I will, uh, right now we have Dan here at the window, right? Okay, so look at the timer, 3.11. So in about three minutes, I'm going to create a very fast animation. First, I'm going to have Dan be outside of the window here. And then I'm going to quick, quick, I'm going to press play and stop at about 13 frames. And I'm going to drag him inside now. You see that I just created, I have this key point, this, uh, the, the keyframe where he's outside and then another keyframe inside. So what happens if I stop and play this back? He drops just like that. Okay, very, very cool, very, very quickly. So I just created a simple animation. Okay, now I wish to use some of the other tools that we have inside. So I can go into the puppet panel and I can choose one of many animations inside. So let's say I want to use this jump motion and I can preview. And I like that, that's exactly what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna have, um, I'm gonna have Dan drop and he's gonna bounce. Bounce and that's it, okay? Now what I wish to do is that I want Dan to stand upright. So I will go into the 3D motion key editor and I will click on default. And now he's standing up. So let's see what this looks like. He drops, bounces, and he's upright. Beautiful. Now, I can also drag in pre-made animations, just like I did before with uh, my Walter character. So I'm going to do this here. I'm going to drop in this hand wave that I made previously. 
and he's just waving just like that. Now, if you'd like to see how I created this animation, well, I'm going to do that right now in the last step. So let me just review. I've got about one minute to show you. Drops, jumps, waves, and now I want to create my own animation. Let me zoom in a little, and I'm going to show you how I did this. It's super easy. You select your character, and you go to the 3D Motion Key Editor again, okay? Let me, let me rotate my character to the side. So you can see that there. So this is really cool because I can grab my character's arm and I can start playing around with him like that. See? Look at Dan there, just wobbling about. Okay, so default, let's get serious now. And I will grab his arm and bring it forward. Okay, oh, wait, 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 before I do that, I wish to rotate Dan to the side. So I'm going to flip him 45 degrees to the side like that. Okay, so he's looking straight forward, he's waving to the side, okay, and as soon as he's to the side, I'm going to animate that arm. So I'm going to switch, move around here, and I'm going to grab his arm, and I'm going to bring it forward, okay, where I want it to be, right about there, and I'm going to move a couple of frames, just play and stop to create another keyframe. I'm going to bring this up, I'm going to play and stop, and I'm going to bring this down. Okay, I'm going to play for a while. I'm going to move that a little. Then play it a little, a little while. I'm, I'm dropping keyframes. That's what I'm doing. And I'm going to point downwards a bit. I'm going to play this for a while. I'm going to bring this down a little. Play. And then we can bring him down and have him go to default pose. So let's see what this looks like. He bounces. He says hi turns and he's doing his pointing with his arms. So notice that his hand gestures, um, he has an open hand, right? But I can fix this. I can quickly, quickly fix this. Right about there, if I want to change that sprite for his hand, I can go into the sprite editor. And thankfully, Gary Pye did a beautiful job at dropping in all these beautiful sprites for Dan. So now he's got that pointy finger. And right there, I can replace him to relaxed. And we have just created an animation in about three minutes. Isn't that cool? Now, at this point, you're like, well, great, but how do I bring this into my PowerPoint presentation? Well, it's very, very simple. Let me just go up in here and to the timeline. Let me open 3D Motion so we can see all the animations that we have. So we have him dropping. Then we have him jumping. Then we have him waving. And then we have the one that we just made. So all of this ends at about frame 268. So great. Let's simply bring the, the, the range, the, the upper limit, down to this part here. So you see that little red flag? That's, where, that's the range, the, the upper limit of my animation. That's what I want to export. And we're done. And I just simply go to Render, Quick Capture, Animated GIF. And here I can play around with the image quality, frame rate, um, here we end at 268, right? So I want to start from frame one, and I want it to end at 268, and I want it to loop once, and we export. Great, and you'll see that Crazy Talk will save my animated GIF onto my desktop. Now this happens because I'm using the Mac version of Crazy Talk here, so let me open a new slide. And we're simply going to drag and drop my Dan GIF inside, just like that. Oh, wait, not there, not there. Let me delete these boxes here. Let's do this again. Just drag and drop. And you can see that I have my Dan character inside. And I can play this back if I'd like to. Okay, I can go to full screen view. And you'll see my character, Dan. Awesome. So that's it for this beautiful tutorial on how to create custom animated bullet points um, with, for PowerPoint with Crazy Talk Animator 2. So we hope you enjoy this presentation, and we really hope you can use some of these assets in Crazy Talk. Thank you.